Okay, uh, today I just want to uh, show you how to uh, fix uh, uh, the hulus, you know, with the noisy, you know. So I can, you can hear the noisy from here. It kind of a buds, you know, but usually you can see the reeds. And uh, if the reeds, uh, you can uh, use the knife to touch it. You can find that the reeds sometimes, and you know, if it touch the edge, that means uh, the reeds is not flat. So when the instrument maker uh, want to, you know, quickly to make this kind of instrument, you know, sometimes the uh, bamboo piece, maybe not a flat, or after a couple years or a couple months, the wood, you know, change the sharp little bit to cause the, uh, the reeds uh, not flat. So today we just try to fix it. If the reeds touch the edge, the reeds cannot come back. Okay. Let me test them. So the noisy come from here. So I used to do is use the knife to enlarge a little bit the edge and uh, try to try to make the reeds in a move, move you know, not touch the uh, the edge, then the noise will be gone. So let me just uh, try to move it, okay? And also, uh, you can hear the the lowest uh, note a little bit uh, sharp, and also uh, the high reach is hard to make sound. Is related to the reeds, but you have to carefully to to do this way. Okay, a little bit, not too much. So we got a high note, but I need to adjust the the age. So I use this the same way, okay, to fix it. Okay, after a couple of minutes, I move the side of the uh, age. You know the uh, things can affect the uh, the reeds, and sometimes when you fix this, you lost the high uh, note. So the use the fingers cover the top and pull the uh, the reed uh, the knife inside it. And carefully to move to the end to raise the end to very very little and uh, then you can test it you know if too high use the thumb to pushing the the end parts a little bit yeah we'll test so it looks like uh, Recovered. So let me test. Put in the uh, on the instrument. Yeah. Uh, if you see this kind of problem, yeah, you can use the tiny tool to try to uh, fix it. Yes, it's not easy. You know, you have to carefully to do it. Otherwise, if you broken the reeds, you know, the instrument will be died. So. All the uh, similar instruments like the Bawu, you know, they have the same problem, you know, the reeds. Sometimes they, they make noisy or lost the, uh, the high um, note. So remember, um, I used the, the same skills to fix it. And also for the uh, cyber drum, you know, sometimes make a very loud sound. Yeah, now this one's okay. And also the, the reeds, if it's too high, the end too high, the sound is louder. So push down a little bit, the sound will be uh, soft, yeah. Let me uh, try to play this again. <clears throat> also, I got some um, uh, emails, you know,
have the instrument setup, they cannot make sound. You know what? Because um, you don't have, they didn't send the, the right um, pressure to the reeds. So it sounds like this. Yeah, you have to give a certain pressure. And also keep the pressure, not too much. If too much, you will damage the reef too, you know. Kind of a hold air, come out. Okay, from the high note to the end, the lowest, of course, from to the lowest, you need to send more air and a yeah, little bit of pressure to catch the right pitch. If not sound enough, sound a little bit sharp. Right? So the, when you from lower note to the high, so it, now you give um, more um, space for the reed, not press too much. So the air with the reeds is kind of a uh, um, balance. It's kind of balance. So uh, for Hulus is kind of a folk instrument. So it doesn't like uh, uh, already um, well developed in uh, uh, instrument. Uh, they have a complex system, but this instrument is just a color, you know, for uh, minority people, they um, play this instrument for kind of a dialect instrument. It means um, a young, young men to try to find a young girl, you know, they use the instrument to play some music. For this instrument, don't think you, you can play a, like a concerto, you know, just a, for um, a colorful uh, um, instrument. The sound is to totally different as others, you know. Okay, if you have any question to fix the instrument or something else, you know, you can send an email. Okay, so under the video, you can find my contact information. So if you have any questions, you can send an email to me. Now, hopefully, you now uh, my video can help you to play the instrument. And uh, if you get a problem, you can fix it. Yeah. And of course, uh, if you want to learn how to fix the instrument, you, you have to carefully to do it. Otherwise, it will damage the weight, and uh, now your instrument will be, you know, uh, died. Okay, thank you for watching the movie.